Welcome back to Sin City Prepping. Today, we're back in the kitchen and we're making beans. Beans, if stored properly, can last up to 30 years. They're full of fiber, protein, and zinc, which make them great for preppers. I think it's important that you eat what you prep. It doesn't make any sense to store a bunch of food that you can't eat or you don't know how to prepare. Today, I'm gonna to try and make Los's recipe. It's a favorite at our firehouse. His recipe calls for cans of cooked beans, but I'm gonna modify that today with some dry pinto beans. Let's get started. I'm just gonna use one of the cans of pinto beans that I got from the Mormon Food Center store. Let's open this up and I'll show you how it looks inside. All right, here's our beans. And our recipe calls for about two cups of beans. So we're gonna measure those out. And then what I do is I put them out onto a board. That way I can sort through them. And I can pull out any broken beans, any debris, any rocks. It's like there's a rock that came out. So you wanna get rid of all that because that's not any good to eat. So any of these broken beans in here, just pull out. And we're gonna toss. So let's get two cups. All right, I think I about got it all cleaned out and sorted. As you can see, there's a lot of debris that you can pull out of those. Let's move on to the next step. Now we're gonna to wanna to rinse our beans with some nice cold water. What we're gonna to do today is considered a quick soak. So we're gonna add the beans to filtered water and we're gonna bring this to boil and let it boil for one to two minutes, then pull it off the heat and it's gonna sit for an hour or so. So here we found we have a bean floating. So any bean that floats, you wanna go ahead and get rid of too. Now you don't have to soak your beans, but the reason we soak them is uh, there's a bunch of anti-nutrients and undesirables in beans. If you don't soak them, you're gonna be more susceptible to bloating and gas. There's a reason they're called the magical fruit. So also by soaking them, you're gonna re Reduce the phytic acid levels, and it helps uh, improve your mineral absorption. Moves any contaminants, dirts, or debris in there. And then also is gonna make uh, the beans more smooth and they're gonna be more even when you cook them. Let's get these going. So it's been about a minute and a half. Let me show you how they look right now. We're gonna keep these covered. I'm gonna add that baking soda. And we're gonna set them aside. Now you could have soaked them overnight, six to eight hours overnight, and then you wouldn't have to do this step. Just stir this in. back to it. While we're waiting for our beans to soak, we can get the rest of the ingredients ready. I'll post Los's recipe up so you can take a look at all the ingredients and let's get these chopped up. soaking just over an hour. This is what they look like now. You need to pull them out, rinse them off, get rid of that water, don't reuse it because it has all the saccharides and all the stuff that we've been trying to get rid of in it. So let's get them rinsed off and we'll set them aside. We're just gonna let those sit and we're gonna get everything else ready. Put the pan on medium, about medium high. We're gonna add the bacon, onion, and jalapeno. And let the bacon and onion cook down. The onion should be translucent, and the bacon should be cooked. 
bacon, onion, and jalapenos are all done and ready. So I've got some garlic here. I've got it's gonna mince up, put in right at the end here. We'll let that brown for about 30 seconds. And we're gonna add our beans right back to the pot and cover them with some chicken broth. Just don't want that garlic to burn. beans. And you want the fluid at least up to the beans and a little bit over it because it's we're going to actually absorb some of that as it gets softer. And then we're going to bring this up to a simmer and let them cook. They're going to take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour simmering. Let's get that up to a simmer. She's up to a simmer. We're just gonna leave the lid on it and let her go. Okay, it's been 40 minutes. I'm gonna check the beans to see if they're getting soft because if they are, it's gonna be safe to add the tomatoes and cilantro as well as some salt and pepper. Oh, and they're getting soft. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our rest of our tomatoes and cilantro. We're gonna keep this simmering. And then we're gonna add some salt and pepper as well. So the beans are all done. It actually took closer to 90 minutes to get them to the softness that I like. That's what they look like. Almost as good as Los's. That's good. Well, I hope you got something out of this today. I encourage you to practice with your preps. You might even get some delicious dinners out of it. I'd love to hear how you guys prepare your beans. Drop a note down in the comments below. Hope you guys all have a great weekend. Stay safe and keep prepping. We want to rinse the 